I have five text files in my desktop. If I want to delete these files, I will open the terminal here and type the command sudo space rm space the asterisk symbol dot txt and press enter and all the files will be deleted. It will not be in the trash too. However, in reality, the files are technically not deleted. When you use the rm command, the directory entry of the file is removed. You cannot access the file from the file system, but the data of the file remains on the disk, which means with any data recovery tool like Foremost, the files can be easily recovered. So in this video, we are going to be learning how to securely delete a file so that the file can never be recovered again. So let's get started. Now to permanently delete a file, we are going to be using the tool shred. So let's first install the tool with the command sudo apt install secure dash delete and press enter continue press capital Y and then press enter and shred will be installed. So what is shred? Before deleting any file, shred will overwrite the file multiple times with random data so that it is almost impossible to recover the file. So first let's check the help menu with the command shred space dash dash help and press enter and I can see this is the help menu and these are all the options we have. Let's check out some of the most important options. The first option that we are going to be seeing is the dash n and the dash v. Dash n stands for iterations. It specifies how many times the file needs to be overwritten. By default it is 3. And dash v is for verbose. It specifies what shred is doing and shows you the progress. So let's use these two options and overwrite a file. So in my desktop directory, I have 5 files. If I cut out the content of file1.txt, I can see it is written this is a very important file delete this file after reading so if i use the command sudo space shred space dash v for verbose space dash n and specify the number of times the file needs to be overwritten i will specify 5 space the name of the file which is file1.txt and press enter and i can now see that the file has been overwritten 5 times so now if i cut out the content of file1.txt I can see the file contains random data and this cannot be read by anyone. But the file is not deleted yet. We have just overwritten the file with random data 5 times. If we want to delete the file then we have to specify the dash u option. So I will type the command sudo space shred space dash v for verbose space dash u to overwrite and delete the file space the name of the file which is file1.txt for me and press enter. I can now see the dash u command has overwritten the file first and then finally removed it. You can combine the dash u and the dash n option at the same time to more securely delete a file. Let's look at some more other options. So if I cut out the content of file2.txt, I can see the file says do not share this file with anyone. So if I use the command sudo space shred space dash v space dash z space the name of the file which is file2.txt and press enter dash z option will first overwrite the file with random datas and in the last overwrite it will add zeros so that the shredding is hidden and the file appears to be empty so if i cut out the content of the file2.txt again i can see nothing is being shown and the file is empty but the file is not deleted yet so to delete the file we have to specify the dash u option so i will type the command sudo space shred space dash v for verbose space dash u to remove the file space dash z to overwrite the file with zeros space file2.txt and press enter and now i can see the file2.txt is removed and now i will show you one final command this is the command that you should be using all the time and this is the only command that you need this command will be the combination of all the options that we have seen this far so the command is sudo space shred space dash n space 5 to overwrite the file 5 times space dash v for verbose space dash u to remove the file space dash z to overwrite the file at the end with zero space i will specify one more extra option that i have not shown you until now which is the dash f option f stands for force it will forcefully remove the file even if it has restrictive permission space the name of the file that you want to delete i will delete file3.txt and press enter and file3.txt will be removed and you can be guaranteed that this file can never be recovered so this is the only option that you have to remember so that is for the end of the video if you like this video and want to watch more content related to kali linux or ethical hacking please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching